A major blow to top leadership of the Islamic State militant group is ISIS news agency Amak is claiming that a top figure and spokesman for the group, Mohammed al Adnani, has been killed. Now, this would be the highest profile killing of an ISIS leader yet. But this is happening as Secretary of State John Kerry is suggesting that the press would, quote, do us all a service if it didn't cover terrorism quite as much. And that drew criticism from a number of news outlets, including the staff at Mr. Kerry's hometown paper, the Boston Herald, who published an editorial that reads, quote, yes, let's just ignore the bodies piling up from suicide bombings and well-plotted massacres. Let's not dwell on those lost at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando or the Bataclan in Paris or at a Christmas party in San Bernardino. Let's just close our eyes and maybe it'll all just go away. Boston Herald, folks, quote by quote. Well, John Hanna is the former Deputy National Security Advisor for the Middle East to former Vice President Dick Cheney. He joins us now with his take on how significant, sir, the death of this ISIS leader is in the fight against the group. And also, I want to get your take on John Kerry's statement. I mean, Ambassador John Bolton told Fox News Channel yesterday that uh, Mr. Kerry should just go ahead and work for the onion if he's going to make comments like that. Yeah, no, it's extraordinary, it's depressing, but it's par for the course for this administration that simply has refused to recognize that we are in a genuine civilizational struggle with radical Islamic jihadists. It is constantly sought to downplay this problem, refuses to name the enemy, tells us uh, uh, four years ago that ISIS has been decimated, uh, or that al-Qaeda has been decimated, ISIS is the JV team, and yet the killings in Paris, in Brussels, in Orlando, in San Bernardino, and in Nice, those hundreds and hundreds of bodies are very, very real. The American people are not exaggerating this threat. They're simply led mm -hmm. by an administration right now that doesn't want to recognize reality. Yeah, ask, ask airline passengers in Germany this morning, uh, you know, in Frankfurt, as that airport terminal was evacuated due to, to, to fears of a security breach, how, you know, if they want to just not talk about uh, terrorism. Let me ask you this, you know, Russia had come out initially um, after the U.S. had reported its p potential airstrike against this top ISIS official, Russia come out saying that it was them. U.S. officials have backtracked on that today. But where does that leave us with regards to Russia and our partnership with them and our fight in Syria if that fight indeed is going to be together and it's not clear that it's going to be? Yeah, I'm very, very skeptical that there's any real ground here for strategic cooperation between Russia and, ICE and uh, the United States. There may be some some tactical opportunities. I certainly don't believe that the Russians uh, successfully made this hit on Adnani. Uh, I don't believe anything that comes out of Russia's mouth right now. They're all about deception and lies and the first priority of building up Putin and Russia vis-a-vis -vis the United States. You know, it's been interesting because you see that Senator Harry Reid has been, you know, calling for an FBI investigation. And he's, he's basically asking, you know, with regards to Russia, that not only could the Russians have some kind of influence in the U.S. election, that's a story that we're following as well, but the fact that you've got President Obama on his way to G20, he's supposed to sit down with Vladimir Putin and have some kind of, you know, conversation with regards to ISIS. Could that be a positive turning point? I mean, only if the president really dramatically changes course. There have been feckless responses to, to Russia's uh, aggression in Ukraine, to Russia's large-scale military deployment into the Middle East, into Syria, and there's been no response so far to the escalating series of cyber attacks against the United States, including what looks like a Russian threat to the integrity of our elections, the mm -hmm. central institution of our democratic system. So unless the president starts responding to this, reestablishes some level of deterrence with Putin, the Russians are going to continue to push and push here in ways that could become very dangerous and lead to an unintended uh, escalation. Sure. John Hanna, Foundation for Defense of Democracy, senior counselor. Thank you very much for your take, especially with this latest news on this potential kill of an ISIS leader. Sir, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you.